So this is my koi pond. I uh, had a request to talk about what this, what it is, I guess. Um, got, uh, got three big koi in there, a catfish, a couple goldfish, and a bunch of little fish in the, underneath the rock there. Um, actually, I just rebuilt this uh, just this week. That's why there's a lot of excess plastic around the edge until it gets settled in. I don't want to cut it yet, so. But uh, yeah, there's a uh, a pump in the bottom there. Uh, you can see there's a black box that's just right down underneath that little corner is still showing. But uh, the gravel in the bottom filters the uh, water. It's been running for four years and it stays pretty clean. Uh, the vegetation also helps keep it clean. But it's a 5,200 gallon per an hour pump. Uh, it's connected to this two inch line that runs all the way up to the top here. There's the line there, got it covered up, kind of concealed there. But it runs all the way to the top up here. And it comes out underneath that rock there and it's basically a lazy river that flows on back down to the bottom and just keeps repeating itself. So the, uh, about my buildings here, I guess, little yard ornament. It's all from uh, pallets. I got some pallets when I got the rocks put in here, so I took all the pallet material and cut it up into little pieces. Uh, I made, you know, like a little water tower here. You know, it's just for looks. But uh, the big thing there is uh, is my water hydro plant. I already unscrewed the lid here so you can kind of see what's going on. It's just basically a little uh, 120 volt generator that I got on Amazon that I put in there. The wheel powers, uh, powers the generator. And I got some little lights. Got one there, and which are just little LED lights. And there's a wire that runs all the way across over here and up to the top of this one. I need to conceal it better, but um, then it shows up right here. And at night, and this little area is kind of lit up at night, so it's kind of pretty cool. So yeah, I just uh, basically mounted this like little building on top of uh, this rock here. Put some concrete underneath there, and some bearings, and you know, it just kind of runs like a water wheel. This is like a just a fan out of a. Uh, an old uh, bathroom fan, so it just works perfectly. So, but uh, yeah, underneath there you see the two inch pipe coming out the bottom there. So, before I built this one, I just kind of did, did a rudimentary one that didn't do any power at all, which was this one here. And I fabricated my own water wheel and just after about a two years it finally just kind of rusted out and now it just sits here. It doesn't even move anymore. Made the little building notes. Charlie, come on. You always want to be in the video. So, just. So, um, yeah. It gives it a little character. Um, you know, it makes it look like it's actually in the country. Just as Charlie's trying to trip over the little creek there, that's why I built the little bridge. The dogs like to run through here, this little trail. And um, so there's a bunch of scrap wood that I had laying around too, so this is pretty easy. Just a couple arched 2x6s and a little 1x material and uh, built the little bridge. And here is a little path I built the other day, in the last video I think it was, so. Here's Charlie using the bridge. Show me how you use the bridge, Charlie. Come across the bridge, come on. Let's walk across the bridge. There you go. Show me how you do it. There you go, that's Charlie. 